bro. How many floors are we going? That wasn't bad. You didn't have an armpit in your face. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that was insane. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon everyone. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay, we're on another photo mission. This time we, we are in Al Habtua city in Business Bay. We're climbing a construction building and the name of the building is Noura. But it's supposed to be amazing. The view is gonna be full on Business Bay, Sheikh Zayed Road and a 360 panorama view. So right now we just did our safety induction. Easy man. <laughs> Right now we just did our safety induction and uh, since the building is still under construction we got to take a lot of safety precautions wait for it Oh. <laughs> oh, that was insane. We're gonna take an outdoor elevator on the side of the building. So that's pretty exciting. Wait for that. What is it called? It's called the waist. A hoist. Ah, it's called a hoist. It's called a hoist. We're going up. It's an open elevator. Really coming out of my comfort zone. All right, we're in the elevator right now. We're going up all the way to the top. What floor? 70? 70, 72nd floor, but that's actually the rooftop. So again, this is rooftop photography. So it is pretty cool because it's a full on construction site. It's not even part construction. So let's see what we find. Wait for it. Hey guys we finally made it to the top that was a long journey but it was a fun journey we got the guys and everybody's just making jokes and cracking jokes and everything else but anyway now we're all set up we got our tripod ready to go we're facing business bay right now right across from me is this epic building this is the jw marriott this was once considered the tallest hotel in the world someone else beat them, beat them. Yeah, they got beat out we won't mention the name of the other one but that, the other one's also in dubai and right across from it you got burj khalifa so across this way you got all of business bay leading into downtown you have an amazing view because you got the cars running right below us and you got this beautiful architecture right beneath so we're trying to capture all of this image into one so let's see how it goes right now i'm getting all set up and then maybe i'll bring you guys in so you can see what i'm doing in a little bit huh let me get set up now talk to you in a bit All 
All right, guys, uh, we're all set up now. Actually, I've been taking photos for a while. If you haven't noticed, uh, it's darker out, so blue hour is pretty much over. So what I was doing pretty much is taking long exposures of the city. The reason why we do it darn blue hour is because you get that nice crisp blue color at night, right when the sun is turning, sun turned down, the sun set, golden hour was gone, the blue comes out, and then the colors just come out beautiful but right now we're taking some long exposures because the city comes to life so all the lights come on and then the settings you have to be really careful to what you set up on for example um, to capture proper lighting you need to lower down you need to do what's called long exposures so we drop the shutter speed right now I'm set up to 10 I'm, I'm gonna run the shutter at 10 seconds I'm gonna adjust my aperture to f8 and I got a 1635 lens. I'm using a G Master lens. So it's giving me a wide angle and I'm trying to capture the JW Marriott right in front of me all the way across. So I can see the big building with the flashing lights on the top. That's called the JW Marriott across the Burj Khalifa and across the Business Bay area. I'm trying to capture that in one shot and um, that's what I'm doing right now. One important thing, when you're taking long exposures, it's very, this is your most important tool, remote control. Now, if you don't have a remote control, you can definitely set up a two second timer on it where you just press the shutter button and then run away. But, the remote control is always good to have. Press the button once, let it go. That's all you need to do. All right, so I'm gonna go back to take some photos and we'll bring you in. Hey, and if you wait till the end of the vlog, you'll see some of the, some of the photos that were taken. Let me, go, let me go back to taking some photos. Talk to you in a bit. Right, guys I'm switching over from the 1635 G Master I love this lens it's a very sharp and it's an amazing lens actually and the, every landscape photographer needs to have a wide-angle lens so this is my wide-angle lens 1635 thank you to Sony for that but I'm switching over to the 135 Zeiss Battis this is my good friend Stevie's favorite lens right Stevie Zeiss what? yes it is Zeiss Battis man yeah, keep it at that. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, so now this is uh, this is a prime lens. So there's no zoom involved. I'm just gonna pop it right in. I'm gonna do my manual focus and let's see what kind of shots I get. Okay. So I'm gonna switch over right now. So yeah, maybe we can run some B-roll. Hey guys, photo mission is done. Thanks again for tagging along. I really appreciate it. Here we go. Same old alpha. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tagging along. Hey, listen, if you guys like to see videos like this, do me one favor. Please subscribe, hit like, comment on the bottom. I love your feedback. Also, if you guys have any ideas or any areas that you want me to check out in Dubai, let me know. I can try to climb them up and show you what I see. And uh, if you want to see the rest of the photos from this photo mission, just uh, click on my handle down below, TG from Dubai. And if you want to see the photos of my team, I'm going to leave their names in the description. You can check them in the below. You can check them down below. Thanks again. Talk to you guys later. Salam alaikum.